All right, guys. Hello. My name is Captain Brick. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to get GBA emulators on the Google Chromebook. So basically, actually take you about two to three minutes. It took me about that long. I had to look up a tutorial that was very complex, and I thought, why does it have to be complex? It's very easy. So what you want to do is you want to go to the Chrome Web Store, GBA, hit enter. You, here you see this. It'll be VBA-M, Visual Boy Advance. Right over here, it says rate it because I already have it, but... If you don't have it, it'll show something like free. Plus, uh, it's it is free, but uh, I don't get these because these are very very difficult to use. But you so once you have this downloaded, see this is just the basic. You can overview the details if you want to. Those are the controls. So then you want to come over here down to your apps, and you want to go to click on the VBA, and here are the basic Game Boy controls, and here are the advanced controls for the actual emulator, and you hit Control O to open a ROM, select your files, and here are all the files you should you have, and this one right here is Pokemon Sapphire, which is a very fun game. I suggest it. It's pretty easy to play on the computer. And you want to hit right here, open. And as you can see, it's running the game. Now uh, you can. It also plays sound too, so you can actually have sound. You, if you zoom in, this will happen. It's just stretches. It won't give the full screen. It's it's kind of bad, but you still get the full effect of playing the game. So you may be asking me, hey, how do? You, where do I get the ROMs from? And I'm going to show you that right now, okay? So you want to open up a new tab, and you want to go to Cool ROMs. And right here, coolroms.com. And what you want to do is you want to go to ROM files, and you want to come down here and select Game Boy Advance. I'm not sure if the Game Boy Color works with it. I haven't experimented with that uh, it that much, but... Uh, for all I, for all that I know, it only works for the Game Boy Advance. And what you want to do, you select the game, any of these games. We have a lot of games. These are just some of the. T uh, these are just the top fifty. But you can also browse by genre, letter. You can see all of them. You can see the by region. So let's just click on a game, Pokemon Emerald. And right here, you can see if you hit download now. You can hit download now. And what will pop up is this right here, which will be, you'll have to watch this little video for like a few, once you have to play it, and then you can just hit download your file. And then, you don't need, you don't need to have this zip folder. What I do is I just take, so I open this and I just take the, em, the just the emulator, just or just the game, and I just drop it down here. And so you're gonna have to rename it because it doesn't work if it has spaces. So you have to take that space out, or else it's not going to work. All right. So now we can go down to files. As you can see right here. After that, you can actually get rid of this. You don't need it anymore. Uh, but here we go, and then you want to go back to your emulator. You will want to open it back up in your apps, and you want to hit Control O. And as you can see right here, you can select which one you want to play. And you, uh, I you can speed it up too by holding space. Um. Well, I think that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys watch new video. Uh, I may be making a new video soon. You know that I found out really what this computer is capable of, which is amazing. Because it's, you know, I just, 
but it's it's just amazing what you can really do with this computer in the screen recording so that I don't have to get a professional camera or mic. I mean, someday I will, but, you know, I'm just starting off YouTube. As you can see my other two videos, my other one, my first one was just a stupid video that my, uh, my aunt took. I was dancing, but um, then my other video was another review on this actual computer. It wasn't that very in-depth. I Maybe I will probably do another one. I'm more in depth and probably with a higher quality, and I'll probably, you know, that's, I think that's it. I'll probably do a review on the screen recorder that I'm using right now. It's an app on the Chrome Web Store, and it's free, so, I mean, it's it's free and it works. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys come back. And I guess, guys, I will see you in the next video.